Today, we're going to look at a new long range sensor from Banner Engineering that provides reliable detection and position feedback in extreme applications. The sensor is the T30R series radar sensor. The sensor uses frequency modulated continuous wave technology. Well, what does that mean? Well, in, in simple terms, the sensor sends out radio waves that are modulated at a specific range of frequencies. Objects within that field of view reflect back that signal to the sensor. It is this echo that the sensor can use to determine presence of both moving and stationary targets, as well as distance to those targets. For the T30R sensor, it uses a 122 gigahertz signal. 122 gigahertz frequency allows detection of both high dielectric material like uh, metal, uh, large amounts of water, as well as lower dielectric material like organic material, wood, rock. These sensors are much less affected by rain, wind, snow, fog, steam, and sunlight, and they can work in a wide range of temperatures. So minus 40 to 65 degrees Celsius, which is minus 40 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can attest to the sensor working in minus 22 degrees C as it is minus eight degrees Fahrenheit where I am today. Uh, the, the sensor is housed in a really compact 30 millimeter threaded housing. It has up to a 15 meter range, which is around 50 feet. It can detect close range up to a, about 150 millimeters or around, that's around six inches, but is more accurate at about 300 millimeters to 15, 15 meters. So that's where the, the analog uh, portion of it or the linear feedback portion of it really takes effect. Uh, another really great thing about this sensor is that there is a very user-friendly free setup software that is perfect for getting the sensor set up quickly with the best setting for the application and verifying that it'll work in the application. So for demonstration purposes today, I wanted to see if the sensor could detect my uh, corksicle canteen, uh, if it's placed on one table, but ignored if it's placed on a table that's closer to the sensor. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the software. Okay, after we have the software loaded, and the sensor connected. We're going to go under here and select sensor, connect. This is the sensor model number, the T30R. This is the virtual COM port that I have the sensor connected to. We'll press connect. Now, the first thing we're going to do after that is uh, just do a factory reset and set everything back to default values. So now I'm set at default values and this right here is an X, Y chart. And on the Y axis, it's showing the signal strength or the strength of the echo that's reflecting off of the various targets. And on the X axis, we're showing distance. So distance of zero to 15 meters. This right here, the canteen that I have set on the table. And it's sensing that at 4.655 meters with a signal strength of 67.8. So really, really great signal. This right here, further away, say nine meters away, is actually the back wall. And then there's like a coat rack. So one thing that you can do with this uh, sensor is there's uh, an advanced target tab. And under the advanced target tab, you can set up your minimum active sensing range and your maximum active sensing range. I want to just completely ignore this wall and this coat rack back here. So I'm going to change this to eight meters uh, because what I care about is the four to six meter range. So we'll do that. We'll hit right. And this is where you can kind of set up your sensor polarity, uh, enable the push buttons, that type of thing. This is your signal strength. And typically uh, one is, is, well, one's the default and that's typically where you would have this set. Uh, I would say that if you're 
in very heavy rain or, or foggy conditions, you might have to bump up that signal threshold value to a little bit higher level to ignore falling, really heavy falling rain and, and, and that kind of thing. Uh, this tab here is the analog, and you can see we have the, uh, the analog output. You can adjust the analog span here, so you can set it for your zero volt distance and your 10 volt distance. Uh, a couple of things that I should have mentioned here is response speed. Uh, the slower the response speed, the better or the stronger the, the target um, signal will be. Uh, but it'll also be a slower response time. For this application that I'm doing here as a demonstration, I want the fastest response time speed I can get because I want to be able to detect that cup, you know, essentially as soon as it as it's uh, in the view field or in the in the area that I want the output to turn on. So we'll leave that at fast. Let's go over to the discrete output or the switch point. And there are a couple of different modes here. The switch point is you can set it so that the output will turn on or turn off when it's when the target is at a specific distance and then further or closer depending on how you have your normally open normally closed settings however another nice feature is this window type mode and what we can do with this is uh, you could have like a sort of put the sensor in a retro reflective mode with this if you have a back wall that you're reflecting off of and you could set uh, set your threshold levels uh, in sort of a window, which is kind of what we're going to do here in that I want the output to be on when I'm uh, between 4.5 meters and say 8 meters. And then we'll leave that normally open. Off delay. So Typically, if you have a very slow moving process, an off delay, uh, putting an off delay on there could be very helpful. So you're not getting uh, chattering of the signal if it's not real stable. Uh, I'm gonna put it at 100 milliseconds because I wanna see that output uh, change you know, very quickly from the time I pick the cup up to the time I sit it back down and that sort of thing. So uh, I think those are all the settings that I need to do. And you can see now that I hit right, you'll see this is my window. And right now the cup is sitting on the table where I want the output to be on. This is my discrete output. And if I go and I move that cup, if I move that cup and I put it on the table in front of the table that I'm wanting to detect, then I see the output turns off. And you can see it's now outside of this window. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and test this out and see how it works. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like more information, visit us at ramcoi.com.